Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to the channel and to my very first Christmas vlog. In this episode, we are decorating the house for the holidays and the first thing we need is a Christmas tree. So please come shopping with me. We are at the Berry Farm in Chatham, New York, and our mission is to buy a Christmas tree. I purchased a nine foot Fraser fir for our parlor and a pair of wreaths for our double front doors. Our friend John joined us to help string lights on the tree. I don't think you can have too many lights at Christmas time. In the quiet evening snow is falling And from every window shines a light Somewhere in the distance drums are calling Now I'm in the garden gathering bits of greenery for a mantelpiece garland. To make the mantel garland, I first cut a piece of twine that runs the length of the mantel. I'm going to cover my work surface with newspaper because garland making can be messy business. I'm cutting my Thuja Green Giant boughs into smaller pieces. I think the smaller pieces will work best for this garland. All right, we are getting ready to make our garland. So I have the twine that I use to measure the mantle. And then I have some green 22 gauge wire here. What I do is first wrap the wire very tightly around the first inch or so of the twine. Here's the Thuja Green Giant that I cut from the garden. And here's some upright U. These are pretty much the same length. And I need some boxwood, also cut from the garden. So I have a nice little bundle here of different greens. And then lay the bundle on top of the twine and wire. Take the wire and tightly wrap the greens to the twine. So I'm making another bundle here. Get some boxwood. And then as before, lay the bundle on top of the previous bundle to hide the stems of that first bundle. Did I say bundle enough times? As you can see, a garland is starting to form. I am so not a professional garland maker. I just like these kinds of projects. progressing very nicely here. I'm wearing gloves because these evergreen boughs can be pretty prickly. When you have come to the end of your rope, turn the last bundle 
in the opposite direction. I'll show you. Let me go this way. All right, the garland is all finished. Let's bring it into the parlor. I'm placing a small cast iron urn at the center of the mantel. And in the urn, I'm placing a fresh pineapple. Pineapple is a symbol of hospitality. I'm decorating the garland with fresh apples, mandarins, pomegranates, and grapes from the supermarket. Our garland is made and decorated. The tree is lit. So now we're going to decorate the tree. But first, a little holiday tradition in this house is we decorate the tree while sipping homemade hot chocolate. So what I have here is some bittersweet chocolate. I need two ounces. So that's four squares. And you just roughly chop the chocolate. Now put a saucepan over medium heat, add one cup or 250 ml of water and the chocolate, and bring this to a boil while stirring slowly and gently. All right, we are at a boil. So now I'm adding a quarter cup or 50 grams of sugar a pinch of salt, that's about a quarter teaspoon, and three cups or 675 ml of whole milk. If you want it, you can add a splash of pure vanilla extract, about a teaspoon. Then we're going to bring this to a simmer. While we're waiting for the chocolate mixture to come to a simmer, I'm going to beat some heavy cream. I like whipped cream on my hot chocolate. I know some people like marshmallows, but I'm a heavy cream kind of guy. Done. I'm going to serve the hot chocolate in these cool Santa Claus mugs. I found these mugs in a shop, maybe in the Christmas tree shop, probably 15 years ago. A lot of whipped cream. It's Christmas. Now, normally, Mr. Fox decorates the Christmas tree, but he's working. So I'm going to decorate the tree with my friend and colleague, Lisette. I don't have to tell you how delicious this is. All right, let's head into the parlor. We bought most of our ornaments during our travels in Europe. Consequently, each ornament holds a memory. In the quiet evening, snow is falling, and from every window, we bought these glass icicles about 24 years ago. They are like jewelry for a Christmas tree. 
they really catch the light. But no one heeds their call tonight. Christmas, oh Christmas, how we long for you. Christmas, oh Christmas. Christmas is a very special and even magical time for me, so I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. In the comments, please let me know how your own holiday decorations are coming along. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.